What is up everybody, Fishhawk here. Today I'm doing a trout catch and cook at a small mountain lake. The last catch and cook I did, you guys seemed to really enjoy it, so I wanted to do another one. I have never fished here before, but my buddy Angelo has fished here and he showed me a few spots, so hopefully he can come through and put me on a fish. All I need to do is catch one fish and then I can cook it up. Stay tuned. All right guys, let me show you what I'm working with today. Six foot ultralight St. Croix Premier Rod. I have a Dawa Fuego LT 1000. I have four pound test P-line fluorocarbon on. I'm gonna start out throwing a spinner and see if we can catch some. This spot that I'm fishing right here is super deep. So when I'm casting my spinner out, I'm actually letting it sink down to the bottom. I'm kind of counting in my head a few seconds. Uh, so my spinner gets down in the water column where those trout are hanging out. And then I'm starting my retrieve. I'm also keeping my rod tip down close to the water uh, to help my spinner stay down in the water column. Cause typically when you're fishing for these trout in these lakes and ponds, they're pretty much on the bottom or very close to it. And I'm just reeling steady. I'm not reeling super fast. I just want that blade spinning. The water is super cold. My guides are freezing up. So these fish aren't gonna be super aggressive or super active. You guys can see how cold it is. Super cold out here. There's a fish. Oh yeah. First fish of the day, chunky little rainbow. Very fat, kind of short and stubby. Caught him on the fish hawk spinner. He's gonna be the meal for today. Now I just have to knock this fish out. I'll use this stick right here. Hold the fish. And... And he's dead. I found this bark that fell off a tree, so I'm going to use it as kind of a cutting board. And I'm also going to use it as a flat surface to set my little stove. And I'm going to use it as a windbreak as well. Just grabbing clumps of grass, kind of building like a little wall, filling in some gaps there. Keep the wind from coming through. That looks like a pretty good spot. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the head off, I'm going to gut it, I may cut the tail off and some of the fins, and I'm just going to cook it whole. This part isn't really fun. All right, now I just need to rinse this fish out, get all that nasty vein stuff out. This is gonna be mighty cold. Mm. Oh yeah, that's cold. That's pretty good. Get this a little burner out. Go ahead and screw this on. Lots of butter today, guys. Up next is some Old Bay seasoning. Don't tell my wife I took this from the house. It is really starting to look good and smell good. This fish is definitely done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and dig in. Look at that. Just peeled the skin right off of it. Look at that. First bite, guys. Hmm. 
Not bad. I mean, Old Bay is pretty much good on everything, so I'm not really surprised that it tastes good and butter. You can't really go wrong with Old Bay and butter. You can see it's coming right off the bones. Ooh, I'm actually getting pretty full. I think I'll leave the rest of this for maybe a lucky raccoon or maybe a bear. All right, guys, right here is where I did my catch and cook put it right back to the way it was leave no trace all right guys that is going to do it for today quick and easy lakeside trout catch and cook i got here and fished for about 15 minutes caught my first fish on a custom fish hawk spinner i cleaned it i cooked it i ate it it was absolutely delicious and that butter and old bay can't go wrong with that but i had a lot of fun making this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have any ideas for future catch and cook videos drop a comment below let me know what you want to see and i'll try to make it happen all the information for the gear I used will be down in the description. Make sure you guys check out those gloves I was wearing today. They're absolutely awesome for 13 bucks. Can't beat it. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It'll really help me out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out.